The focus of this video is on power modeling and analysis. In Visual Sim Architect, we measure both time-based metrics and, crucially for this video, power-based metrics. So on the graph on the left-hand side, the time-based metrics would include processor speed and memory storage. On the right-hand side, the time-based metrics would be quality of service requirements, such as making sure that all tasks meet their deadlines. And in addition to this, we measure power consumed, uh, which is the focus of this video. The way that we do all of these metric types of metrics is as follows. Um, every hardware block has what we call a functional portion, which is what the block does, a timing and resource-based portion, which is how long it takes to do the service, and then at the bottom, the block power mode diagram, which is a diagram or state diagram that uh, represents uh, whether the device is active or idle. Um, and it is this power diagram that Visual Sim uses to keep a record of what uh, the, the, the hardware device is doing and therefore how much power it draws. Now the traditional approach to power uh, um, analysis has been through spreadsheets in the, in the upper left. And this provides a way of um, defining or declaring static-based numbers for the power consumed by the different hardware pieces in the system. And one of the things that we've noticed is that um, when you put it all in the spreadsheet and you obtain um, let's say through a series of equations in the spreadsheet, uh, we have found that the average power um, typically corresponds to something that we do within simulation. So in other words, within simulation, we run the design and we measure, not estimate, but measure the amount of power that is consumed. Um, and we plot that power, for example, on the lower right-hand side, uh, we're plotting the power curve, uh, the power that's consumed in the system. And, and we've noticed that there is a correlation, typically, between the static-based number and a point on the dynamic-based graph. Um, what the graph allows you to do, though, is, uh, is to basically understand um, uh, more information around which the average is centered. So the spreadsheet gives you an average, the um, simulation gives you the full curve, and that can be very, very useful, especially, let's say, when determining um, uh, the power spikes for uh, various devices. It may be that the power spike will be problematic for the device, even though the average power that's consumed is acceptable. Now, the simulation model within Visual Sim Architect is a representative one of where you're conducting function architecture uh, mapping. On the lower hand of the model, we have a series of operations that are having, such as getting data from a sensor, reading frames, um, rendering the frames, etc. And that functionality is mapped onto the target architecture, which includes an ARM subsystem, hardware accelerator, and the memory hierarchy. Also within the model is uh, or our power uh, information. In particular, a block called the Power Manager contains information about all of the hardware models and how much power they draw depending upon the state that those models are in. And this information actually comes from the spreadsheet that the customer has initially for their power. So as an example, this spreadsheet uh, contains also the hardware elements, the amount of power consumed, and through uh, the appropriate static functions, yields an average watts per second, um, in this case 1.19. And this is our starting point. That information is then plugged into the power manager, and we would then run the simulation. The output of the simulation, in terms of power, 
is a measurement of power consumed as the simulation progresses. And you can see here that the beginning number uh, in the dynamic simulation is very close to the 1.19 watts per second given in the spreadsheet with its static functions. Uh, the important and the complementary aspect of dynamic simulation uh, which measures power is that we can see the full curve as the simulation progresses. And this is particularly important in those cases where any power spikes could result in system fault or system degradation or possibly system failure. And this is why it's important to use, utilize both static based power methods such as spreadsheets and use that information in a dynamic simulation environment such as Visual Sim Architect. This concludes our video on power modeling and analysis.